Okay, I'm going to show you now how to use the files that we just uploaded. You remember those C1, C2, and C3? We just uploaded. They're in the images directory of chapter 1. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go back to my course. And to do that, instead of going out of File Manager completely, I'm just going to open, using the breadcrumbs, the course page in a new tab. And you can see there I am now. There's course content, file manager, etc. So I want to go into my course content. And the first chapter is what I uploaded the images for. And you can see that there are already some, uh, <clears throat> some pages in this course, including a, a video that I uploaded to test that it was working locally. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add another page. And we're going to call this uh, insert image using what are they called they're called let's get one of those images so you click on it can you see there's the image you can see that there are three three can I count one two three four four tabs here file preview embed code file information and access we're not going to deal with those for the moment we're just going to deal with file preview which is where you see the file the download link where you download the file and then the embed code Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the embed code. Can you see this here? We're just going to select the whole thing, either by going Control-A or just dragging the mouse over it uh, with the le mouth button left-clicked. And we're going to go Control-C to copy this. Now we're going to go back to our page of content that we're creating. What, it, what I was looking for was the name, embed code. So insert image using embed code. Okay. So we don't need all this uh, junk here. So we just go to source view and delete it. Coming back again. Uh, here is an image inserted using the embed code. And there's the embed code, file preview equals, file preview ID equals, and the rest of it you can ignore because it's not human readable. But it's a great way to simple it's a great and simple way to insert images quickly once you get used to it you'll find that it's 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 quite a quick way to do things but it doesn't give you as much control over the image okay so here is the the page now with the image inserted along with some text now i'm going to show you another way to um to insert an image into your page excuse me while i sip my coffee that's better. Um, so to insert uh, an image, you can also use, I don't know if you can see over here, on the second row of icons, the last group over, the first icon. When you put the mouse over it, it says image. Okay. So that is how you can insert an image. So I'm going to say insert image using image insert icon okay and again just going to go and delete all that stuff I don't oops let's just do that again I'm going to go and delete all that stuff and go back into WSIWIG view <clears throat> now we're going to click here now what we need to remember of course is where our image is so we click browse server you actually have to click the button remember our image is in chapter one and images and let's use c2 oh the brain you should in this me method you can actually insert alt text which is <clears throat> actually good for usability so i'm going to just call it image of the brain and endocrine glands okay there you see our image has been insert. Now you can also right click on that and go image properties and change the properties at any at any stage. You can for example uh, align it left which means that the text will flow around the image and the image will be to the left or you can align it right which means the text will flow around the image to the left and the image will be to the right. So let's just align it left Okay, you can't really see that it's a line left unless you have some text. 
So let's grab some Laura map, some text. Just put some text in there, and you can see how the how the text flows around the image. And when it gets past the end of the image, what you will see is that the text will flow then back normally left. How cool is that? Hmm? Okay, so let's save that page. And there you go, you can see your image and <coughs> and the Lorem Epsom text that we just pasted. But what you'll notice is right here, the text and the image come right up against one another. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Go into Edit Page, and now that is something you can't do with the embed code. You can't fix that really. Well, you can, but requires a lot more knowledge of HTML. So we're going to go back to the image right click it go to image properties and we're going to go into advanced so you can see that the, that there's a style here this is cascading style sheet style okay you may not know what that is or what it means or anything but what we're going to do is we're going to insert margin dash right colon space uh, let's say 10 px 10 pixels and say okay so can you see what that says it says margin right, dash right colon space 10 px semicolon and say okay and now you can see the text has moved away from the image and this is what i mean when i say that you have more control over your image if you insert it this way you can also do things like resize it and so on. But we're not going to go into those things now. We're running out of video space here. So let's save the page and let you see what it looks like. And so those are the two ways to insert an image. The one way was to grab the embed code. The other way was to, when you're editing the page, click on the edit image insert image icon and that's it that's all for now thank you bye